Oh, I love these, bro. Let me tell you this, dude. A lot of people used to wear other shit. Back in the old days, people wore sheet or something, feather, shadow, nothing, bro. Before they had underpants, Brendan, you know, people would just grow out their pubic hair and just hope that it would hold on to their penis. But what I'm saying is this. Now they have a company called Mac Weldon. Do I call them Mac Daddies? Yeah. Oh, is this look, the daddy. It's really strong. It's a. It's that. It's like that working man's underwear. If you go to work, dude, go to work in these because it's better than what you're wearing right now. Yeah, and Mac Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, a uh, simple shopping. It's so dang easy. Oh, I'm, I got on there. Bam, Mac Daddy sent it straight to my door, baby. I've worn baby. these beautiful bitches so many times, dude. It's like. It's like. Uh, it's basically like um, you ever seen that movie Eight Mile? It's kind of like that, but for your for your body, for your crotch. You got mom spaghetti on your front of your pants. No, but they just they're, You're they're nervous. They're just they take care of you, bro. You're gonna get. The yeah, it's job like a rap right. battle. Yeah, yeah, it's like a rap. Somebody's battle. gonna get toasty. Yep. yep. Talking about your nuts. You're comfortable. You're taken care of, dude. In those Mac Weld. Yeah, son. man. I'm talking about design the premium fabric. Oh my lord, it is nice. Get twenty percent off your first order. Visit MacWeldon.com. Enter promo code CATS. Wow, that's a real deal too. Twenty percent off that first order because these things are hardy and girthy, bro. You know, it's like putting. You're talking you, about me. Yeah, they're like you, but underwear, honestly. Yeah, girthy, hearty. Yeah, it's like putting all... It's, yeah, it's like doing that. It's like me wrapping your nuts. Yeah. Yeah. So for 20% off your first order, visit Mac Weldon and enter promo code K-A-T-S. I'll be your Mac Daddy. Jesus, Brendan. Trying to keep the lights on. Hey, I'll tell you right now, bro. When I get that meat box at my house, when I get, I go, what's in the box? What's in the box? I'll tell you what's in the box. High quality meat for your mouth. Meat for your mouth, bro. Yeah, dude, that Brad Pitt pork chops, baby. What I'm saying is if you want a box of meat to show up to your house and surprise your ass, get that butcher's box, daddy. 100% grass-fed, finished beef, free-range organic chicken. Finished, bro. We're talking dead animal, dude. What's no, up, bro? Yeah, you're not going to have a damn lamb fucking rolling up on your porch looking for a knife, bro. Nah, shit, bro. They do, is, that, they do the work for you. This shit has already been shut down. See ya. Hey, wild caught salmon. Not that regular salmon, Yeah, bro. not the kind of salmon that just willingly jumps out of the boat and you know out of the river into the boat and just begs you to take it home and eat it you yeah, know it tastes like we're talking about hope, that salmon bro. that don't want to be there bro yeah and there's nothing more festive than a turkey dinner i mean is it even thanksgiving without turkey this year do thanksgiving dinner the right way with butcher box yep turkey that's gun killed too none of this freaking natural death but yeah no one's choking bro. the chickens anymore. we're talking about turkey that was straight up killed with a weapon yeah we ain't talking about choking the turkey out with your bare hands <laughs> so you get him he's like this in the box yeah this ain't russia bro you know what nah, i'm saying bro we do it humanely bro every month butcher box ships a curated selection of high quality meats right to your doorstep man yep we got all kind of meat we got this red meat white meat chicken beef you got it what is it meat butcher box is a no-brainer the best meat shipped right to your door which means one less trip to the grocery store yeah i'll burn your fucking house down son you want some meat sign up today and get a free turkey plus twenty dollars off your first box damn just go to turkey butcherbox.com slash k-a-t-s or enter promo code k-a-t-s at Check out. That's butcherbox.com slash cats or enter promo code cats at checkout for that free turkey. $20 off your first meat box. That's <laughs> <laughs> hairspray. <laughs> Get your life together. It is. Idiot. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. The greatest show on earth. Shin, BBQ, what does that shirt say? Big brown breakdown. Oh, wow. That huh? old, that's old school, man. Are you paying to advertise on Chin's chest? <laughs> uh, there's no, yeah, that's. But still, though, you're walking anything, around. What's on the back, Chin? Your famous stain. I disagree. Yeah, I, I disagree. I disagree a lot with people. Wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I made that shirt. Old school. Yeah, dog. I thought it was barbecue, man. A lot of Koreans now, they used to do a lot more stuff, you know? Now they just do barbecue. And Jim won't shut the fuck up about it. Oh, yeah. Jim, what'd you do this weekend? Did there you really? You go. Yeah. Wow, what? You... Every weekend, that's all he does. Outdoors or indoors? It's indoors. Unbelievable. Indoors you know your boy Steve Aoki has uh, Korean barbecue in his house. You mean Japanese? Uh, I think he does both. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has Benihana's. Yeah, yeah. Hey, meat grill. One guy's Japanese, one, one guy's Korean. What's the difference? 
I got some meat for your grill right here, son. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. <laughs> You, you, you want wanna, that barbecue chin? You want to cook my a, meat on your grill, dog? You, you just used my joke. That was dude, my that's joke. That's my joke. I've been using it forever, <laughs> dude. No, you said put some meat on your grill. It's the same joke, bro. It's similar. What? It's the same realm. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Ah, <laughs> what's up, dog? Oh, dude. You Nothing. Excited? My <laughs> jokes, apparently. <laughs> my secondhand jokes, bro. Your goodwill jokes? Yeah, man. I'm, do Second I'm rate, doing bro. okay, bro. Damn, bro. You look fucking... Where's your axe? You look like Paul Funyuns, dude. Paul you look Funyuns. like somebody who goes into a fucking 7-Eleven with an axe and a fucking big blue thought. <laughs> and, get a, and, and gets a Coca-Cola Slurpee. And gets all the Funyuns, you delinquent. That's no, I don't like Funyuns, bro. Okay, well, They're disgusting. I disagree, bro. How dare you, dude? I disagree. You excited for Halloween? Oh, yeah, I'm excited, man. Somebody just like hit me up yesterday to say, how do I? Uh, what do I do to do a Theo Vaughn costume? Oh, pretty easy. Look like a transgender... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You look like a transgender scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> you think so, dude? Yeah. I could go for that. The only thing I don't like about scarecrows is they get bugs in them, dude. That's the part I wouldn't like about being a scarecrow. And you don't see that. You don't see a lot of the aftermath of it. Bugs in them. Wolves come up at night and piss on them. Yeah, it's a dirty job. Somebody has to do it. Now, their sole job is to scare the crows away. Yeah. Now, is it just crows? Other ducks, uh, other animals fall ducks. for it. <laughs> other ducks fall for it. Other ducks fall for it. Crows are dark ducks, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Say whatever you want, bro. Crows are the dark arts of freaking parrots, I oh, think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think you know what you're saying, but if you need me, I'll be over here. <laughs> Jeepers creepers, dude. Jeepers creepers. What do you, you got in them beepers? No, no. Is that how it goes? Where'd you get those peepers, Jeepers. dude? That's it. And that's an old... Uh, what is that, Derek? Is that an old... I knew it from the Jeepers Creepers movie. That's yeah, scary. no yeah. shit, Derek. Come on. <laughs> Jeepers <laughs> Creepers the movie, dude. Well, he said it like it might have been for something else. Oh, I thought it was like an old church song or It's something. in that movie, though. That's what I know it from. The yeah. guy from the iPhones. Really? What's his name, Jason Long? No. Yeah. Uh, oh, Justin yeah, Long. Justin, Justin Long. Long. Justin or Jason? Justin. Justin Long, yeah. Man, he um, never shook the Apple thing, did he? The, who, Justin Long? Yeah. Well, he had a, he had, I, I think he was a child. Was he a child star, Justin Long? Well, he was a child when he did those Apple commercials. He just looks No, older. he wasn't. He he's was, 40, he was he's 50. 17. <laughs> well, he dated Drew Barrymore for a hot second. Everybody did, though. It yeah, seems like. true. He's 41. She dates him, aliens. Wow. He has, dude, him and freaking Zach and Marie make a porno is the best. <sighs> Yeah, it's good. I will go on that adventure with you. The yeah. gay adventure. <laughs> He's so gay. In it. He's it so gay and it's hilarious. His voice is so deep. Born in Fairfield, Connecticut. Father was a Latin professor, so they was rich, bro. Let's be honest, dog. <laughs> you don't see nobody fucking learning Latin in the fucking ghetto, bro. Yeah, you, you know right. what I'm saying? One language only. Yeah, you're not in the ghetto when somebody's like, his a must get a garicus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's very rare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more Ebonics. <laughs> yeah, you don't see a lot of fucking Latin out there in <laughs> not the a ghetto, ton bro. of Latin and, and spinners going around these days. You <laughs> yeah, feel me? Dude, you know, you're not in the barrio and you see a couple of fucking vatos rolling up with some some Roman numerals, papa. <laughs> okay, let's be rational, papa. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you got Halloween coming up. What are you guys doing in Korea, Chen, for Halloween? <laughs> Just the country of Korea, huh? I think? Well, North Korea, they can't celebrate it. Well, can they? I don't know. Can you look that up? Do they have Halloween in North Korea, Darren? They do not. Wow, Brennan, saying something and guessing really hard I'm at telling the same you, they time. don't. Really? They can't do. They don't even get TV over there, bro. They get a lot of stuff you don't know about. Uh, Halloween in North Korea, though the holiday is not traditionally celebrated in all of Korea. Uh, for kids, adults, don't say anything about North Korea. Though. North Korea, they can't do shit, dude. Seventy-two percent of Koreans were interested in going to a Halloween party. They thought about it. Yeah, they thought about it. <laughs> Well, there you go, then Brendan. Then thought about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are there any images that go along with this, Derek? Yeah, what do they dress up as, Americans? Cowboys, I bet. Oh, no, dude. A lot of them, they have a lot one of costume, and it's Kim, <laughs> Kim Jang and Nil, or whatever that guy's name is. Kim Jong Nil. Are you doing anything for Halloween, Chin? Nothing? What? But Chin's 40, bro. <laughs> no, you're not, dude. <laughs> nah, bro. 40, dude. No way you are, dude. It'd be dude. creepy if he was like, yeah, I'm going around, dude. 
You got to get away from the grill, bro. You ain't fucking 42, dog. That's that all that fucking... Uh, yeah, get off the grill and That's that all that petro... Uh, the, what's the stuff you put in a grill? That Bunsen burner gas fucking that cooking your skin petroleum, baby. Down. Petroleum, that propane cooking your skin down, dude. Chin, you ever take hits of that propane? No. What are you guys doing? Now, you guys are drinking at these grills, aren't yeah, you? We okay. Drink a lot you drink so, a lot, Chin? Yeah, soju. You guys drink soju? Soju, a ton of soju. And okay. who is soju? I thought it was a friend. Yeah. I thought it was a friend of yours. No. I mean, it would be crazy if it's purified by a, a boy and they have him drink. They little drink soju? Out of his body. Yeah. Little so oh, no. I'm always with soju. Bring right? him over here. Little huh? soju. Get over yeah. here. Yeah. Spin his mouth like a little baby bird. Cat, <laughs> yeah. uh, are you doing anything for Halloween? Cat's definitely doing it. Cat is Halloween, I feel like. I am Halloween? Yeah, I just so, feel like you always kind of have, like, you know, like you like a to nightmare die. before Christmas vibe. Yes. No. No? <laughs> Dye your hair, wear different outfits. I could see you. Yeah. I could see your boyfriend or husband or whatever you have coming home and you flying off the top rope in a fucking cat suit or something I and mean, attacking him. Kind of Maybe because your name's Cat also. That's like a Halloween costume. I see costume. you go as a Power Ranger. Yeah. Power Ranger? And Cat is a popular Halloween costume in America. The yeah. the most popular. Yeah. The most popular. Also, dude. thought. Relax on Halloween. It's the kid's Halloween. You know, quit having your ass cheeks and tits in my face. Yeah. You're not getting, yeah, my, you'll get you're not getting my baby Ruth. Yeah, or you'll get a kid. Yeah. What were you going to say, Kat? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. No plans as of right now. But Zero? I might end up going uh, to USC and just kind of party hopping. with a Oh, going friends. back to the old alumni, huh? Yep. Go as Olivia Jade. Pretend like I bought my way in. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, that sounds fun. It's a good costume. Derek, what are you doing? Oh, man, I don't worry. My birthday's coming up, so I, I don't worry. When's about your birthday? The 25th, dog. Are you high, Friday. Derek? Huh? Are you high right now? <laughs> well, I mean, I smoke. High, high in life? I've been high every time I've smoked weed. <laughs> oh, damn. Every time you've ever met me oh, in my sorry. entire life. <laughs> He's like Cheech and Chong, man. Yeah, I've never. No, he isn't, dude. That's fucking Derek, dude. <laughs> He's like Derek and Hassan. Huh? They, they both just smoked nonstop. No, this one guy I'm talking to, and he looks high. Are you under the influence of marijuana right now? Yeah. Mary Jane, it's oh, you've you never met me not under the influence of marijuana. Oh, damn. So, you, so that means you really don't know him <laughs> at all. Well, dude, put a necklace on or something when you're high so I know. <laughs> yeah, wear some glasses or something. Wear a hat. <laughs> wear a special high hat. Yeah, wear a bell under one of your arms or something. <laughs> your birthday's the 25th. What's today? Today is the 20? 22nd. 22nd. Yeah, so it's Friday. So you got three days if you make it. Thank you. Because in the urban community, a lot of young men don't see. Well, how old are you, Derek? Twenty about three twenty nine. I'm twenty eight. A lot Ooh. of young men don't see thirty in there. Yeah, that's a that's a Tupac know, lyric in that is. culture. Yeah. Your boy's almost. Ain't there, gonna man. make it to a thirty. Yep. I made that up. I made that up. I forget the lyric. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> but I, I believed you, bro. bro you everyone it? went like this, <laughs> and I looked over and Chin was like this. <laughs> I, it sounded with with uh, with a fucking pair of thongs and fucking beef like this. <laughs> They're called tongs, bro. <laughs> what I call them. thongs. Sometimes the H thongs? is silent. Sometimes the H doesn't exist, bro. They're tongs, dude. No thongs. You get lit yeah. for Halloween. I know what beef they are. and thongs, baby. Beef and what thongs. Kind of, what bro. kind of green barbecue are you going to, Theo? That could be your new band, dude. You gotta get a you gotta get beef a band made. Yeah, beef and thongs. Tongs, Cherokee bro. thongs, baby. Beef and tongs, boy. Dude, I'd go watch Beef and Tongs drop a couple hits. Oh, yeah. Chin on the guitar, just shredding it up. D, what are you going to do for your B-Day, man? I don't know. We're doing Ice House. We'll be, so I'll be there that night. We're doing Ice before. House Thursday. Yeah, so Ice House with ISIS. So Is his be... song going to be there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's in New York planning something. They should something. have ISIS House one night, and it's all <laughs> Middle Eastern comedians. Yo, Ooh, Ice that's a house, great idea. That'd be really funny. Except for no Middle Eastern comedians would show up. <laughs> <laughs> so, be all white would, guys. A lot of them want the stage time, dude. They just want stage time. Yeah. You're right. No, my girl has some plans for me. I don't know yet. Oh, Surprise damn, birthday huh? party, huh? Yeah. Damn, I know it's your birthday on Friday. We have to do... Uh, some what do some? I don't know about Friday night if I'm available, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I, <laughs> I see you like every other day. I'm yeah, not available. <laughs> so happy birthday! I'm not available. Dude. <laughs> but do, do, do you really do anything for I your don't birthday? Do anything. I do nothing. I have to fr get it out of you as your birthday. Yeah, dude, I don't do anything for my birthday. Actually, you ever, do you get sad on your birthdays? I do. You do? Yeah, I do. Okay, so this isn't a question from me then. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm asking you, but I want you to be in the safe zone. Because I feel like if you're running low on gas, you get depressed. So yeah. I didn't know if... Dude, I've run out of gas probably 30 times. I didn't know people didn't run out of gas until about four years ago. Dude, I ran out of gas and some lady... Like, what the fuck are you doing, boy? You know, yeah, you running out of gas? I was like, yeah, I was running out of gas. 
She's like, I was like, you know, you can only put so much gas in the car. Yeah. And she's like, no shit. And that's why you had to get more gas, you know? You ever, you ever ran out and had to push the car? Oh, shit, dude, it's so embarrassing. That's half my childhood, bro. I've run out of gas, no joke, probably 35 times. That's why you got that ass. Yeah. Pushing that car, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, That'll boy. build your goal. I got those gas cheeks, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know twerk, 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 I got that, baby. That fucking 97 <laughs> thought tane, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tank on E cheeks, yeah. bro. <laughs> I got them tank on E cheeks, boy. Forget so, your Derek, deadlift. your birthday, man. Jesus, yeah, huh? Thanks. 29. 29, dude. I made it. Derek's going to be 30. You're going to be 30. Well, I'll be 29. Oh, you'll be 29. Ah, yeah. still not the big 3 0. Uh, yeah, still not still the 30. Young. So, still How old's the son? in that danger zone. 26. Six twenty-seven. Okay, one of those. Or eighty-seven, dude. <laughs> Bro, so Hassan yeah, dyes yeah. his fucking his whatever hair he has on him white. Dude's fucking sixty-eight. I don't think he has any hair. Does he? Well, he's, the beard's pretty thick, but no, no hair on the head. Bro, in the desert, you can live under a fucking. You don't have to have water, but I mean, you have very little sustenance. A lot of those people. Yeah, Hassan's mm. a cactus. Yeah, Hassan is basically a cactus, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's a Middle Eastern cactus. Yeah. I don't think there's cactus out there, but whatever. Cacti, they call Cacti. it. Cacti. Yeah. He's at cack tease, boy. Cack tease, bro. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe what a fucking sad group we're doing. Nobody's doing shit for Halloween. Nothing, dude. No. What I'm about you, Playboy? Uh, Kevin's trying to get me to host a party. Oh, damn. Well, that sounds fucking miserable. Well, it sounds like you definitely don't have a plan. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> Holy but, fuck. But uh, better than what uh, we're doing. Is it? I don't know, dude. He has no plans. And what kind of party is it? Like, do you guys do it? If you have a party, what kind of do you, what do you, what's the tip? Like, just people drinking, any weaponry or anything? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, oh, I like that. Well, damn, doesn't sound like you're putting this party together very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, he's providing the space, bro. He's, he's providing, providing the, the roof over your head, bro. Almost. Yeah, man. This was Cristo, papa. Interesting, man. Yeah, no one's doing shit for Halloween. But again, everyone's a little older. Cat, I thought maybe it was going to have something Yeah, going that's on. why I think, maybe I think it's low-key, I'm subnaturally or something, whatever it's called, hoping that Cat is doing something so we can live uh, vicariously, vicariously mm. through her. Well, she's going to USC, though. That's where it gets pretty loose. I feel like you might run into Will Ferrell at a Halloween party there. I think you might run into some feral bitches over there, dude. Oh, yeah. That's why we should go. Over there. That's why we should go. Are there people go. doing cocaine out there, or what is it? Uh, mostly Adderall and Xanax. Cocaine oh, wow. Even a party? Cocaine. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Xanax? That's at Xanax. It's USC. It's USC, Brendan. They get everything. But Z but Xanny is, what is Z Xanax? Xanax is a, uh, what is it? Xanax, a lot of people use for anxiety. It's an anxiety medicine. So why would you want to party with it? A lot of people like to feel loose. Yeah, people don't want their anxiety at, at a party. People want people that have anxiety at a party. Because it's you, a party. Huh? Let loose. That's the slogan. That's how they're doing it with, That's how with Xanax. Because if you don't have anxiety, it then makes you looser than you naturally are. Mm -hmm. So you're basically high. Oh, I take I take Xanax. I'm a, you take my, it? my butt getting raped. What? what? I'm, I'm too loose as already. You know what I'm saying? I go to what USC are you on Zanny. Talking Zanny? about Brendan? There's People somebody here. listening to this right now, probably getting raped. Who is <laughs> on taking Zanny? offense to that? Huh? Well, probably on Zanny. Yeah. Now you know not to take it. That's why I know not. To. I'm, I'm a and loose. Zanny I'm a loose a popular, dude as it is. I think Zanny is also a popular Korean name, isn't it, Chin? Yeah. No. It's also a rapper <laughs> named Little Zanny. Little Zanny. Is that right? All those Little guys died, dude. Little Zan. No. All those guys die. Everyone Not named yet. after a drug. Little uh, little Pekka. No, if you uh, have little, or whatever. if you have little, you're it, it's, you're not living to twenty nine. Little pesticide. <laughs> little pesticide died a couple years ago. Remember last year. Little propane. Yeah, little propane died. Little prop. Little skeet. Little skeeters. People have he drowned. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is this show about? That's what I want to know. Yeah, what do we do? <laughs> real quick, Kat, have you done Zanny? Uh, no, I thought about selling it to rich kids while Gang. I was at USC, though. Fuck yeah, Kat. Because no that's one that's why I, ever that's why I love I'm her. the one selling it. She's probably got a bag of pills in her fucking cooter right she's now. She's a little... She's a little no offense, Kat. Hit me she's up a after little the show. Mule. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. What'd she say? Hit me Get up, up after, after the show, show yeah, What's up? <laughs> I was trying to get her to hustle her feet. She's like, fuck your feet. I sell pills, son. She's like, she got that Pez dispenser, baby, you know? <laughs> Lord of War over there, bro. <laughs> oh, Lord of War is good, isn't it? That's a great movie. Shout out Jared Leto. J yeah, Chin, dude. you mess with Z Zanny? I've done it. Okay. So yeah, Chin's doing drugs then. Yeah, Chin will get on them drugs. I could see it. He's, he's, he's losing his hair, too. Yeah. Are you really? Of course. No, he's not. 
No. It's thinning out for sure. No, it isn't, Jen. <laughs> well, you're just not growing it. You'll never know if it's thinning out unless you grow it again. Uh, they look at me and Theo. Long hair. Don't yeah. care. Bro, I just Who here is going faster, though? Derek's or Chin's? Ooh, God. <laughs> Damn, D. Damn, Darren. <laughs> Darren. You took his breath away, bro. Girl, what up, baby? Yeah, bro. no, yeah. no, you got a long time girl. I get that, bro. But that shit is. Long time. <laughs> Damn, good, but God bless her, man. Derek got that hitter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or does he? <laughs> bro, yeah, he got that fucking Hedrick Douglas, dog. Derek's got that fucking wild fro, bro. And he's fearless about it. That's what I'm talking about. He's fearless. Dude, you should open up a barbershop, bro. You come in and we fucking give you what you get, son. <laughs> you get what you get. We'll just you see know? what happens. Just have a sharp gun and just fucking cut people's hair real fast with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Derek and Chin for losing their hair. Derek's not losing his hair, dude. And neither is Chin, man. You said Chin is. I said Derek is. Then okay. I said the race to see who goes bald first. <laughs> okay. But Chin, Chin has an advantage. He's 40-something. It's really not leaving. Yeah. He just shaves his head. You have that big scar on your head. You're going to be fine, yeah. You got a ton of hair too over here, Party Boy. Some of that. <laughs> <laughs> party Boy's got a fucking too legit to quit over here, Party yeah. Boy, man. Kid and play over here, dude. He looks a little bit like Johnny Depp ish, doesn't he? Does a he? Little Johnny Depp ish. Yeah. You get that? I get that, and I got I get John Wick. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Are you Native American? No, he's not, dude. He's Latino, huh? Bienvenidos, papa. Bienvenidos. Ah, bueno, bueno. Fucking Brendan, dude. <laughs> bueno, si, sí, papi. Si, sí, bueno. Brendan, man. He doesn't Failure. look native. With that here, that, I, I, was, I was thinking Native what? American, bro. Native American, yeah, dude? Yeah, that Apache hitter over there, son. Look at that <laughs> oh, shit. No, I will see that. Fucking Geronimo, son. If he had a hatchet or something, yeah. Yeah, maybe a little Aztec. But you can't accuse me. someone of being an Indian if they don't have a hatchet, Brendan. <laughs> or face paint. That's huh? fair. That, or face paint? Well, face paint, anybody can have face paint. You could be at, you can't be at like a party and be like, oh, are you Native American? And somebody's like, no, I'm fucking, you know. No, you can only have face I'm paint on. I'm it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can only have face paint on if it's Halloween. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're not Native American, you can't wear face paint. When are you going to wear face paint? What is this show about, dude? That's what I want to know. It's about great Halloween ideas. Yeah. Okay, and, and we Native have none. Americans. Okay, here's what we've come. Here's our costumes right now. My costume is depression, pretty much. <laughs> Chin is uh, basically admitted to alcoholism and wearing beef around. Beef and thongs. Yeah, beef and thongs. It's a new band. <laughs> Come see him live at the Fillmore tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> beef and thongs. I don't know what the rest of our costumes are, man. What are you going to be, Brendan, you say? Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm the boogeyman from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. My son's Zero, and uh, my girl's going to be uh, Sally. Oh, wow. Sally Jesse Raphael? Yeah, I love that bitch. I saw her at an airport one time. I was excited. Did she have the glasses man. on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, she did. And she was starting to lose some of her faculties, <laughs> I think. And uh, so she had a man with her that was keeping tabs on her. Oh, a handler? Yep. Remember back in the day, it was like Oprah, Sally... Uh, Jerry Springer. Phil Donahue. Oh, Yo, bro. Good Phil callback. Donahue was fucking fine as fuck. Bro. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Did you bring a picture of him man. up, Derek? Yeah. Yeah, he was a good looking dude. But back then, all those daytime talk shows were the shit, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Oprah ran the world back then. Now she does a book club. Phil Donahue right there. Did, uh, he's dead? I'm assuming. No, he is not, dude. Let's really? See. Let's see if he's dead. Oh, no, he's alive. Phil never died, bro. He's alive. Fuck 83. Yeah. 83 years old? Hell yeah. Beautifully. He was married to Marge Cooney at one point, and he was married to Marlo Thomas at one point. Wow. Five children coming out of fucking sweet Philly's D. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. How many kids do you think you have inside of your nuts, you think, at one time? Ooh. Look that up, Derek. Oh, man, I'll pull that I up. think it just depends on the on where you're blasting it, right? Because those swimmers got to compete. It's kind of like the movie 300. How many kids in your nuts? Well, you have I can't even believe uh, I could have only imagined some of their fucking high school term papers, man. <laughs> Be tough. <laughs> so many kids. So, you know, in nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm testicles. I've never owned a computer till now. Who, who's going to have kids first? Chin? What? Theo or Derek? <laughs> Yeah, probably Derek. Cat says Derek. Why, Cat? Why don't you weigh well, in on this? Let's get a woman's perspective. You're someone with an actual egg, you fuck. 
Because I think Derek's the only one actively busting. Yeah. Right? That's true. I masturbated think... yesterday into nothing. <laughs> into I'm so a sorry. fucking you didn't empty throw void a, that'll a never create anything. Nothing? Huh? Not in a plant? No, nothing? I'm not fucking Feed something, you plant. son of a bitch. I'm not feeding something, Derek. Uh, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. for sure. For sure, Derek, though. You think, Kat? And then out of me and Chin, out of me and Chinny Chin Chin, who stole his name from a fucking children's nursery rhyme, Three Little Pigs. I think it's going to be you, Theo. Amen. And then afterwards, Chin. I don't know what's happening. I don't think chin, I don't think kids are in the book for Chin. First of all, Chin just needs to find chin someone has, to hang out with. Chin has to have kids, dude, or his parents will fucking kill him, bro. <laughs> They're on you about it. They're on you about it? I told you, are, dude. Are, you're right. You know you're Koreans. Hey, um... But aren't they worried that you don't date anybody all the time? Damn, bro. What? And then fucking wander through that sentence, bro. Like a fucking blind dude. <laughs> well, I'm, a fucking, I'm trying to be careful here. Chin like doesn't date, bro. Like a blind guy at a sharp shop, boy. You fucking wander through sharp that shop? shit. Sharp shop? You mean a knife store, bro? A sharp shop? A sharp shop, <laughs> dog. fuck are you from? Bro, if you sell knives and you just sell knives, sharp shop, bro. You fucking sell sharp anything shop, in that bitch, bro? dude. Razor blades, sharp plastic. Answer up, Chin, or get out of here. Uh, are they worried because you don't date anybody ever? They've expressed a lot of concern. Yeah. They know that I, they, I hang out, but they know I don't really have romantic <laughs> Yeah, they know you have friends. They don't think you're a psychopath. I, thought, I don't know. What'd you think, D? I saw him with a baddie one time. Mm -hmm. I thought that was his you wife. You saw that baddie his at mother. the store? Yeah. His mother. That was his mom. Oh, she's nice. Lady. Time time, brother. Or yin. Yin she time, boy. Younger than you. Take care to Taste Town, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Look, can we, are we, what is this show again? Yeah, can we start the show? Is, can right? we start the show? I feel like we're all right, a bus so station. All right, so I guess we're all throwing a Halloween party, okay? That's, that's all our plan. Yeah, we're coming to your and house, And this guy's brother. throwing it. Me amo Teodoro. Huh? Te amas? Me amo? Yeah. Luis. Luis. His name's Luis, for those of you that don't speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah. God, Like man. Brendan. White people. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We're having a got, party dude? at Luis's, bro. <laughs> party at Luis's. I'm going streaking. Party at Luis's. Cat's bringing the drugs. <coughs> Derek's bringing the haircuts. Chin's, <laughs> Chin's bringing the beef. No, no. Chin's the music, bro. Yeah. Live band. Yeah. Chin's beef bringing, and thongs. <laughs> beef and thongs, man. And we're bringing the bullshit, dude. Let's get into this. Here's oh, a white man. guy that has a problem. Let's hear it. We'll debate him. <laughs> this is our point. <laughs> Nick Carter. Here's some from, guy in recovery. Is this Nick Carter? Nick Carter. I don't believe that. <laughs> His name's Nick Carter from Marysville. Marysville, Washington. Yo, King in the Sting. Part of football season, I came up with a good debate for you guys to try. Who do you think would be the better quarterback? Chris Dance D'Elia or Andrew Cheeto Santino? I think in you know the redhead might be a better quarterback in the NFL, but oh, yeah. I figured it'd be a good debate for you guys. So uh, gang, gang, rub a dub, buzz, buzz. Thanks, guys. Rub a dub, dub. Gang, bro. bro. I'm gonna eat this. This one for me is easy. Cheeto Santino, the ginger to remember, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the fucking red Andy Dalton, bro. I think you'd, he's got more fire in him. He doesn't care what happens to him. Um, he has seen more sports. Chris doesn't like sports. Chris doesn't like he doesn't watch sports. doing anything uh -uh. or sports. <laughs> uh -uh. So, but I think Chris is more athletic. Now, what do you mean by athletic? Looks athletic or actually is athletic? Ah, oh, man. Uh, and what type of athleticism? If you're talking about somebody to swim romantically to the bottom of a fucking beautiful like ocean area and pick up a fucking conch shell, okay. Chris. Okay. <laughs> if you're talking about somebody to fucking sidestep a couple of fucking crackheads in an alley somewhere. Santino. And fucking run the ball to the end zone, <laughs> losing both of his arms in the process. And, and still, not care. And not care and not even get it to the end zone. Yeah. Santino. Santino did grow up in Chicago. The streets of Chicago is a redhead. Yeah. And yeah, he's. got to he, take into consideration. He has some darkness about him. There's oh, some yeah. anger there. I don't know if it's just because he's redhead. I've met some pretty chill redheads. Yeah. Santino, not chill redhead. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He has a podcast about alcoholism. Um, look, I think this is an easy one for me, man. This is Santino. If you're talking about, if your sport is someone to lay on a cloud and finish a fucking pudding that they're not going to like, 
<laughs> with their shirt off, not only feeding some pudding to themselves, but feeding some to each nipple on their chest. <laughs> The Leah, okay? <laughs> if your sport is fucking wrestling a needle out of some fucking businessman's arm in some shady fucking jewelry heist. Well, that's not football. It's, it's yeah. Like, I feel you. And do it. Linebacker or shady businessman with a needle. Yeah. Whatever. And doing a line of coke in a Kia Sophia as he fucking <laughs> argues with his fucking wife uh, over FaceTime about their two fucking fat kids somewhere. Santino. <laughs> yeah, I gotta agree, man. This is an easy one. Santino all day. Santino? Yeah. yeah. 50, you know what? 55% Santino. It was pretty close. Mm. Interesting. Right? Up next, we got Dave from Ontario, Canada. Oh, I want to go to Ontario, too. Hey, Theo and Brendan. This is Dave from Ontario, Canada. Why is he whispering? And I got a debate question. He's not Brendan. He's, he's at in, peace. He's in the gym do you think by the snack machine. Rock stars or rappers? Let me know what you think. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, young man, by the snack machine at the gym. I feel I like to hang out there, too, sometimes. Uh, I can see you, dude. Yeah, reload that sugar levels. Um, yeah. Dude, you're over there shoulder pressing these nerd ropes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rock stars or rappers, as far as who gets more hoes? Dude, if it was the 90s, rock stars. 80s, rock stars. All day, dude. Think about the rock stars back in the day. Okay, so I think you have to talk about rock stars at that time. They don't have rock stars That's anymore. what I'm saying. There's no rock stars. Nickelback doesn't count. Well, Nickelback also was a 20-year-ago reference. I mean, let's talk about a, a recent rock star. Who's a new Aaron rock star? Aaron Carter. <laughs> um, Nick Carter. Yeah, Car the, uh, the Carter. Three. Little Wayne is almost a rock star now when you think yeah, about it. Yeah. He's played more uh, guitar than half the fucking other, you know, guys who would even He went on tour with Blink-182. Right. And he and he left because he, he was like, you know what? This crowd's too white for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Did you not think about this before you jumped in with Blink-182? All the small things he got up and went, the fuck is happening right now? He's like, I like to skate, but not this much. Yeah. <laughs> See, everybody want to skate till they start playing the music. Everybody want to skate till you start doing some skater shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the tight uh, jeans don't make you a skater, little Wayne. Um, man, you to, can you think of a rock? Who's a rock? The biggest rock star right now? Who's the redhead with the Ed with the Sheeran. with the fucked up eyes? Yeah, Ed Sheeran. It's probably the biggest rock star you got. Yeah, Ed Sheeran. He's a yeah. rock star, no. bro. He's Chin, you know music. It's not rock. Well, get well. Name a rock star. Who, he's mall rock. Hard to find rock star. Just, just like name someone who's not pop. John Mayer, maybe. Ooh, John Mayer. It, well, no, Aerosmith was hot in the sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. I know. Well, no, yeah. you. Re Jared Leto, three yeah. seconds to Mars. Thirty seconds to Mars. Six degrees of Saturn, or whatever. Yeah, Mars. What are you saying? He's saying Post Malone, but I was like, hey, that he's a rapper, really. He's rapper pop, but yeah. Post Malone's kind of fair because he does do a little bit of it. Bit. Dude, yeah, when we were yeah, when when we was children, they had um oh, dude. Led Zeppelin. Oh, they preach. had A C D C Yeah they Aerosmith. Had Journey. Journey, bruh. Journey fucking died on the journey. <laughs> the whole band, bruh. Dude, lead singer Korean now. Yeah. How about beef and tongues? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they, I remember they used to have a magazine that came, would come to you once a month, and it was like pictures of the rock, and they'd been fighting each other with fucking broken bottles. Dude, Rock of Love. Dude, I went and saw, no. Yeah, who's their lead? Who, who, who's Brett he? Michael. Oh, dude. Brett. Goo Goo Dolls. Oh, now that now we're talking. <laughs> you know you look Put your similar. arms around me. You know you look similar to the lead. You singer, know I've right? been to fucking nine of their shows, dude. I followed them across. I followed them one time. I followed them across about one eighth of Pennsylvania. Dude, I'm a Dave slave. I will fucking follow Dave Matthews to the end of Earth. Satellite <laughs> in my eyes, like a You're dating diamond. Yourself. You're dating yourself, Brendan. Dave Matthews, you like the Goo Goo doll. Dave Matthews, you have the same stylist. Dave Matthews, <laughs> Dave appeared, bro. Where's that fucking dude been? Dude, he's selling out all over, bro. He, he had just a released bus? a new album, bro. Did he? Where's the Goo Goo dolls? Goo Goo dolls are everywhere. They're performing no, right now somewhere. No. Yeah, they are. So, so is Dave Matthews. Mm. You're a hater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. But think about how big rock stars were back in the day. Dude. Yeah. There's nothing bigger. There's nothing, dude. Metallica. They're still doing it. Yeah, now it's a lot. He's more in rehab, hype. but whatever. So I think rock. But then rappers get more like I think 
I don't know, rappers seem to, they get more like uh, those video vixens. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Nothing better. <laughs> and I don't know. What, and they get those IG mm. hoes too. Them, yeah. Them big booty bitches. They slide in those DMs, whatever city they're into. Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. I Well, this day, it's just, it's a time thing, you know? If you're talking about the 70s, 80s, rock stars destroyed. What do you guys think? Let's get some culture, dude. I'd say rappers just because rappers get all color chicks. Black girls were never like fucking, they were only fucking white girls. You know what I mean? Rappers Wait, what? Black girls were only fucking white girls? No, Metallica was like only fucking white girls and ACDC, like they're all white girls. Black right. girls they, were like, ooh, Journey, bro, you know? Like, right, they didn't have, yeah, they didn't have black girls coming to their audience, right. Rap is one of the few genres where everyone. all uh, cultures will go watch the music. Yes. Everyone. Everyone goes to watch it. I would say rappers are getting in more. Yeah, rappers, they cover all demos, everyone. Pops a Zanny. And what was the guy's question originally specifically? What was he saying? Who gets more rappers or who gets more ladies? It's kind of an outdated question because there's no rock stars. To Homeboy's point, uh, Post Malone is kind of the closest. Yeah. I, you know, it's so tough. It's tough to figure that out, man. It's very tough. It's tough to figure that out. I don't know if we're the people to ask. No, I mean, you're a big Goo Goo Dolls fan and I'm Dave Matthews. <laughs> yeah. so I think that says it all. But I would say rappers if I had to guess. I would my say head. John Mayer though is the closest thing that we have, and I think he's obviously he's been with every woman in the whole world, so he's probably so many people's dad. I cannot think of one rock star. Chin, you're in the music business. Yeah, Chin, fucking step fucking up to go, the plate, dude. Dude, I'm gonna take some of your hair out of your head. Dude, yeah, welcome to the new Korea, dude. For every time you don't fucking have an answer, we take a piece of hair out of your head. You know. Nice. Travis Barker's kind of the most rock guy. But they're, they're gonna return. He's raising Louise his hand over question, here. What's yeah. up? He's still got Corey Taylor. He's still doing, uh, Who? Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor for the not, Titans? That's no, that's Corey Davis. <laughs> who? Who is it? <laughs> oh, Slipknot. You still have a lot of those. Uh, ICP. Jamie Josta. You still have a lot of those skunk metal bands. You know. ICP. Ink Stain Clown Posse. You got uh, Limp Biscuit, Fred Durst, Fred oh. Durst, Bust the Nuts. <laughs> no, in his bedroom alone. Fred Durst uh, in his bedroom alone. He's not. He's not. He's I don't not know if he's doing albums. Whatever, dude. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to figure out. I think good that, call though with Insane Clown Posse. I, I yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Green Day. Oh, Green Day. Goldplay. Now, Coldplay. I like Coldplay. Yeah, you got guys like maybe like James Blake. I mean, he's a, he, but he's. I mean, it's just it's tough. It's like, what is a rock star now? You it know? doesn't exist. Maroon Five, Adam Levine. He's a rock star. He's a rock star. I think he can play an instrument. Maybe that's the qualifier. Ooh, I'm a fan of Adam Levine. I'm a fan of Maroon Five. You are? <laughs> oh yeah. He's time. beautiful though, Adam Levine. I saw him at a Halloween party, but I'm straight. <laughs> so I'm fine. You went as a straight man. You're saying? Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I went my whole life as a straight man, dude. Well, it's time to take the mask off. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's right, not a mask. What else you got, Doug? This is my real face, dude. My... Get me out of this question, Derek. 59% rock stars. Wow. That's what they went with. That didn't make sense. It does make well, sense, What if Brandon? it's back then? It's like, we need a time period. That's true. It's a ridiculous question. Here's an ad. Yo, man. There's so much sports going right now. World Series, NBA, NFL. Your Saints are doing well. The Patriots aren't going <laughs> to lose ever. And you can make money on all this, dude. Mm -hmm. All that money. Just use mybookie.ag, bro. Yeah, now, not if, you know, if you have a problem gambling, then you shouldn't do it. But if you don't and you want to lay a little parlay, then this is a place to do it. And parlay is really where you can catch up against the odds. You know, you get two or three bets you like. You lay $4 on it or $9, but it could turn out to be, you know, you win $80. Yeah, and mybookie.ag gives you so many dang ways to win. If you guys want to support the show and you like to bet on sports, get in there with mybookie. If you join right now, mybookie will double your first deposit. Use promo code CATS to activate the offer. That's promo code CATS to double your cash. Yeah, Visit. man. Hit it. Hit Get it. out there and do what you got to do. Visit mybookie.ag today. I think a good bet is maybe Detroit. I think a good bet is maybe them New Hampshire fucking cats, bro. Sure. Knock, knock. Who's there? Patheon and Brendan. Dude, I'm so sick of tucking in my shirt looking like a dork these days. 
Yeah, yeah. One of my friends, dude, I think his name is John Rossetti down there near uh, San Diego. He always says to me, hey, 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 man, untuck your shirt and look like a king. And guess what? He's a doctor now. So <laughs> It's science. Ever wonder why traditional button-up looks so long and baggy when they're untucked? It's because they're not made to be untucked. Yeah, man. Untuck it shirts. These shirts we're talking about were designed to be worn on tuck. So you look cool, man. Yeah, you look cool, but you also look capable, man. I told you my friend is a doctor now, dude. And before he had untuck it, he couldn't even read, bro. <laughs> so here's what I'm saying, dude. You're broke. You're destitute. You're in a coma. Get untuck it, dude. Next thing you know, you might have some oil money. You might have a job. You might have a freaking, you might have a second wife, you know? You might have a new Corvette. Anything could happen, but you got to start with your appearance. Dude, you're on Tinder. Your new Tinder profile pic. Untuck your shirt. See how many chicks you get. Untuck it. Or bros, dude. Try it on in person at one of the Untuck It's 50 stores nationwide. Or go to untuckit.com to get started. They even offer free shipping, free returns on all orders in the United States. You yeah. can save 20% off your first order by using the code CATS at checkout. That's untuckit.com. Promo code CATS. Untuck it. It man. ain't rocket science, you sick little pilgrims, all right? Here's what you do. Untuck it. Support the podcast. Our boy is back, guys. Oh! Uh, we want one without the mask. The Bay Club. King Stang, it's Dirty RJ Rob, man. It's cheap. I feel like it's <laughs> gone pretty close. Man, I feel like it's time you meet the folks. Mama, I want to enter. Mama? Oh, damn. It is. <laughs> Mama's a fucking furry. Got a tail, Dad. Dad, Mom's a... Dad? <laughs> Why do they torture me? <laughs> they torture is that my so fucking brother-in-law, oh, Paul? <laughs> Fuck, man. My mom's a furry. My dad's a brony. Goddamn King Sting. I don't know which one's worse. Being a furry or being a brony. Let the bite begin. God, this guy's great. <laughs> We gotta meet this guy. Whatever city he's in, we should do a live King and Sing and bring him on stage. Did we know anything about him? Just J Rod. He won't. We don't know where he's from. I don't know. I love this. He's and J Rod. Yeah, he's not. Uh, he actually is mysterious. He's wearing panty on his head. <laughs> uh, now I'm I'm confused. I know what a furry is. What's the other thing? A peroni. A peroni so I had to look it up. A Isn't that a beer? Peroni is a disease that affects your <laughs> penis. I do know that. No, it's, it's a, a beer. Peroni. A brony, like a bro knee. It's a male adult fan of the hit. 2010 show My Little Pony. Yep, and he, they take it to the max, bro. And, and that's a real John. That's they, a real oh, person. Look, they do sex they're as real well. People. Look at these, With, are, these are bronies. Oh no, that's Takashi Six Nine. That's cool. <laughs> that's Takashi Six Nine. That's where he got his look from. And these and are old, furries. And those are furries. And now the furry thing I could get into is somebody had some warm tits on the front. Dude, <laughs> you cut out the tits, cheeks out the back. I'm all for it, dude. <laughs> bro, that's, Be a little fox. You know what I'm saying? Molesting. Like a little fox. That's called molesting someone. Yeah, you're right. You have to have full costume on to be a, to be involved. I've read some of the different um, terms and conditions. And uh, <laughs> Did I tell you my friend was at the... <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> my friend was at the Porno Awards, the AVN, mm -hmm. and he's this giant man, and they go, hey, man, we would love Is it to Rampage Jackson? No. <laughs> nope. They go, we, he's about 6'6". Six, six. They go, we'd love for you to be in this porno. And you can, you can wear a costume. He's like, man, that sounds really cool. And they show him the girls. <laughs> they, put him in a, they put him in a Godzilla costume. <laughs> full, but just the dick is out the front. He's like, oh, I can't do I guess he looked this up in the mirror. I was like, oh, I can't do this. Man. <laughs> I just is junk hanging out the front. Well, I can see that being tough to feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't feel Godzilla. <laughs> just his giant Godzilla head, furry costume. <laughs> Yeah. And it was all Asian girls. Oh, I wish he did it. Awesome. I wish he did it. He didn't. But the point is, is that would be a furry, I think. <laughs> yes. Um, that would be a furry. Dude, eat that brand muffin. I'm bro. getting a bite of muffin, Brendan. Um, furries, uh, listen, the, I, I'm not familiar at all with the My Little Pony yeah. gang. I don't. So, so they get together and celebrate My Little Pony? Yeah, it's a whole convention. They have conventions for it. But now, how. Cat, Cat knows about it. How big is it, Cat? I have no idea. Why would I know about well, it? Well, you seem to know about it. When Thank it, you. Yeah, you seem pretty knowledgeable Why? on it. Why? Yeah. I don't, you said they meet in Chino every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kat said that. No, this seems, yeah, this seems like more up your alley. I feel like if you had to pick someone in this room who would know about this, yeah. it's like a younger all of us would say type Kat. of thing. I don't, I've never heard of uh, this. Is, this is foreign to me as fuck. <laughs> My little pony. I, not Remember familiar. the commercials? Mm -hmm. No, not familiar with it, dude. Are you, Chin, you, are you familiar with this? No, first time I heard 
Hey, Chin, I'm just nod your head yes or no. Hey, I just got to know. I, I know what side I'm leaning on. Chin lies. Lose two hair. <laughs> I like that idea. Chin, you ever, been, you ever dressed up as a furry? No. Hey, no. circle trust. Never? Mm. Yeah, you're damn right you have. That's getting interesting. Fur, fur coat with a mask, you mean. Um, so everybody wants to lie in here. That's fine. That's fine. Obviously not circle of trust. Uh, I, I would say furry because I don't know the other thing. Yeah. Theo? I don't fucking know, man. You know? I, yeah, me, I don't. <laughs> I'm not familiar. Honestly, bro, I don't fucking know, dude. I ain't into all this whack shit. No, you ain't finding me. I ain't, You can't drive with that... Uh, furry shit on because you can't drive with a uh, full costume mask on. That's illegal. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit, bro. And it's expensive. I feel like furry be expensive. Yeah. I love J Rod, bro, but I don't like furries. I don't like bronies. There's only like 70 of them. They meet up in fucking Charleston or whatever every year, wherever, dude. Gainesville. Over there. Yeah, dude. Sweating their ass off in the costumes. Yeah. Smoke a bowl of my nuts if you're either one of those, dude. <laughs> yeah, right? I feel I can't relate to either as well. Yeah. Collect sorry about baseball your parents, cards. though, J Rod. <laughs> sorry about your parents, bro. Yeah. Collect baseball cards. And I am sorry, J Rod, that you were conceived by both of these <laughs> and have an irremovable panty on your head, boy. You know? I do love J Rod. What, what's the audience go with? They probably don't know either. Furry. 55% furry. But it was close. 55? <laughs> yeah, people like bronies. Yeah. Wow. Because you, you can be a brony and then be a furry. Furry is all-inclusive, man. Brony a, is a so brony? Specific. A brony? Yeah. yeah. A brony. Brony. B-R-O-N-Y. Or, wow. Yeah. yeah, like the spelling is going to help Brendan. <laughs> I love that part. That's, that's, that's nice. news to me, dude. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of it. Me what neither. else you got? I just found out. I'm just uh, kind of mean. Sorry. A little clown my hound, boys. Jesus. Up <laughs> first, we got this is, Ludwig. this is Ludwig. Oh damn! God damn, Ludwig got that cinnamon sugar nose drip. I lost though. a fight to a kid named Ludwig when I, when I was in middle school. Was it Dwayne Ludwig? Because he would fuck your world Nuh-uh. up. Ludwig, L- I think it was double Ludwig. I think his name was Ludwig. 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 It sounds like you guys got a fight at a mechanic shop. God, look at the fucking dick on that puppy, huh? Right. Oh no, is that? Oh, that's just an arm. Oh, that's his nose. Or are those is nuts? Those are nuts. No. Yeah. Mm. See? Well, they shouldn't the, be sending that. That's disgusting. That's a nice hound, though. <laughs> that's a nice. He's a cute little hound. What are though. they asking about this animal? Oh, he's just. They just want you to clown him. He's 11 months old, <laughs> six and a half pounds. It's he's tough to clown him because he's cute as he's, fuck. He's can be those balls. It's easy fun. to clown him, dude. He's showing us his fucking nuts in that middle picture on purpose. He yeah, survived like two a piece of charcoal. And a snake bite, apparently. He should have two surgeries and a snake bite. Well, I'll tell bite. you this, dude. I, I don't need to climb you because you know who's climbing you, dude? The Lord, okay? <laughs> two snake bites? You're doing something wrong in life, bro. <laughs> you got a couple months left, yes. okay? Gideon, or what's the damn thing's name? Ludwig. Ludwig, okay? <laughs> Look here, little Ludwig. Little huh? Ludwig. You about to take a fucking Pirelli to the neck, son, okay? You better be careful in the neighborhood because you about to catch a... You about to catch a car, dog. Stay off the curb. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's looking for you. Two snake bites and a fucking cat attack or whatever. You going to heaven. Yeah, it's, he's short leash for this young You want to show your nuts to people on the internet, bro? That's, That's what you get, bro. You're going to end up in fucking jail, boy. You're going to end up in jail with a couple of fucking brother dogs going at your ass. <laughs> or, or, or six feet under, son. Yeah, or six feet under, boy. You want to live that gangster life with your nuts out, you're going to pay for it, bro. <laughs> So look, fuck man. this hound, dude. Yeah. Now I'm mad like Theo. Yeah. Fuck this hound, bro. I mean, he's. Cute. I don't even like dogs. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get my ass, bro. You out. So sorry, Ludwig. Uh, he's cute next. there, though. He is cute though. That first one's cute. Then he grew up to be a bitch. Up next, we got Tyson, boys. This is that's an Tyson. original name. Ooh, Tyson. He's a boxer, right? How do I guess? There we go. I'm not about the hood. He, he, I, I tell you what, I hate the racial profile here, but I see him on the street, I'm crossing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm crossing over the street. I don't trust this dude yeah. with the hood, the marks, not trustworthy. Yeah. You feel me? I think he has coke on his paws if you look at his paws, if you zoom in on the feet, on the foot. I would assume he's got a case. Probably has a couple one, two felonies here and there. Can't be trusted. He definitely has that kind of... Uh, Looks like he's trying to do the right thing. <laughs> like, Looks like he's trying to do the right thing, but it's really hard for him because quick cash is the easy go for him. <laughs> he got that Rocky Balboa look to him a little. He does. Um, 
he definitely, you know what, man? He's been through a lot. But and he's made some poor choices, dude. He has a couple kids he hasn't spoken to in a bit, I'm sure. <laughs> Child support, nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So look at that. He's got that little hoodie on. It looks like something from Gap from about 20, 15, 18 years ago. Uh, I don't trust him, dude. I'm telling you that right now. He got some nice arms, though, if you look at his front arms. Well, he definitely works out. He has the prison build. I don't know if he's working out, Good arms, out, good legs. That's drug muscle, I think. Oh, <laughs> uh, you think? I'm always jealous of drug addicts. They're always skinny. You ever what? seen a fat drug addict go? Never. Chris Farley. Checkmate. <laughs> wow, bro. You got checkmated. No, I'm talking about... No, no, hold up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One that's like addicted to coke and meth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chris, Chris Farley. Farley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Meth? Yeah. yeah, dude. He was like putting everything in his body. Mm-hmm. Well, he's a special dude. <laughs> yeah. But in general, that rare they, they're real skinny. Yeah. Well, he's that rare element, dude, Christopher Farley, we're talking about. Yeah, you're right. And he buried up there in Madison, Wisconsin, I'll say that. Mm-hmm. But this fella right here, this little animal, what's his name? Cheryl? Tyson. Tyson. He looks like he's selling that fucking Zanny with Cat. Yeah, this little bitch ain't shit. <laughs> this little, yeah, Cat seems like you might date this guy, it seems like, Cat. <laughs> Showed he want a thug. Is he your type? That's my type. Cat riding shotgun, listening to fucking G-Eazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck with me and get some money. What is it? Uh, Fuck what is it about this money. animal that you love here, kitty cat? Mm, it's the hoodie. The hoodie. It's really, the hoodie. It, it yells hoodie hood, doesn't it? Yell. It yells hood. And he's mixed. He looks a little bit like French Montana, a little bit. Yeah. He looks like he has a little bit of a, a Philadelphia flavor, maybe a little yeah. New York flavor. He got that easy backsplash, you know. Just can't wait to tell somebody he's from Cuba. Yeah, look at that. Look at that French Montana. They look pretty similar. Yeah, gang, bro. It's always weird to me when he drops the M bomb. Yeah. (laughs) No. 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 The boy's like, "What is happening?" When him and Drake do, I'm like, "What is happening?" (laughs) Yeah. Guys, you haven't earned that. Yeah, dude. Uh, You just you can't say it, man. No, but this dog can. What else you got? (laughs) Yeah, this dog definitely can. (laughs) Obviously, this dog has missed court a couple times, dude. Yeah. And if he doesn't take care of himself, bro, things are only going to get worse. Oh, dude, you know who's on my flight? I vote forty percent. What are we doing? (laughs) You know who's on my flight? I felt like coming up to him and just being like, "Dude, we celebrate your hits." Me and Theo Von King is saying, "Nelly, Nelly." Wow, I forgot about that. He was on your flight. Yeah, 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 he's sitting next. You didn't say hey to him. What? You didn't say to him? Oh, I did. I went like this. That's nothing. Nope. He went like this. Dude, I saw Lamar Epps. No, Chris Epps. What's that guy? Mike Epps one time? Omar Epps. Yeah. The comedian? Chris Epps. Mike Epps. Mike Epps. Mike Epps. Actually, Great it wasn't special. him either. Oh. Who am I thinking of? I can't remember. What's next, Derek? <laughs> uh, relationship advice, boys. Oh, God. We help so many people. This is uh, Tony from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. What up, fellas? Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Gang. Um, so I need some relationship advice. I've been seeing this girl recently. She's about 10 years older than me. Whew. Glad that ended that way. That's an ex-stripper. Wait, what do you say? Sex is amazing. Um, she's a great girl. She's been going to school. Likes long nets. Uh, the thing that makes me nervous about her is she's really clingy and i don't know if i'm just laying down the pipe right or well. i'm someone she hasn't met before it's really exciting God. it's really fun it just <laughs> she's a stripper a bro right she's met now. so many Her dudes just brendan wanting to be with me every night wanting to sleep over blah 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 you know you know how it goes nope i'm sure but I do. uh I don't know. Let me know what I should do about this situation. It's kind of tough for me to make a judgment call on it. Love you. Love you, man. Buzz, Gang, buzz. Bro. I appreciate you calling in, dude. This guy seemed like a nice guy. Sounds like from, something. Derek? Sounds like something for Doctor Drew, but yeah, sure, man. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, here's the thing, dude. You got a stage five clinger. It's a stripper. You're the only guy in her life that she can trust. Clearly, probably didn't have a dad. Let's be honest. You don't know. Do they have a picture of the woman? No, we don't have pictures. Do we have a family portrait? (laughs) I thought we did. We don't? Well, that's news to me. Let's do more work, everybody. Um, I think that he should just... The specter tragic over there. (laughs) (laughs) Derek should have his... (laughs) Uh -uh. Uh -uh. (laughs) Uh -uh. 
<laughs> and Tim typing like this. Yeah. <laughs> Terry's like, well, we've narrowed it down to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, be grateful the chick wants to chill with you all the time, man. And do fun stuff. What is this guy asking us? I couldn't figure. I was trying to notate what is being a, what's a, being occurred. So he's dating an ex stripper. Uh, he's twenty five. She's thirty four. Okay. She's clingy and bipolar, but the sex is amazing. He mm. just doesn't know what. To oh, do. he did say bipolar. Yeah, he said she's bipolar. Oh, bro. you a doctor now too, bro? <laughs> Maybe she's just moody. Maybe she works late as fuck like a vampire. So during the day she's a little fucking. Brendan, that's of insane. It. What do you mean? That's insane. Strippers don't work during the day? It's an insane question or answer. They do work. Some of them do work during the day, dude. No strippers. Shout, out to, those, too, shout out to those ladies who are hard working strippers. Oh, yeah. It's easy to be in there stripping at night when everybody's throwing money around. You're right. You be in there in the daytime when nobody's in there. You're right. <laughs> You're right. It's like open mics. You know? Yeah, You're right. Dude. Shout out to all of those daytime strippers, bro. You know? Them sunshine twerkers, baby. Daytime stripper nation, boy. Fuck DSN. Yeah. yeah, you you the you the ugly ducklings of the club, and that's why you're there during the day. They're beautiful. They're hard working. They have families. Nah, at they're night. bust nope. They're usually busted. And cause notice it's the busted sunshine hose and prime rib go hand in hand. Mm. They're trying to get people in so you can have a little meat. And watch these uglies. Damn, Brendan. That's a strip club, dude. Yeah, but I see the. I, I think you got to see the beauty in all of them. It's not just about how they're. You got to. Jamie, s- come on down. Yeah, Jamie does her best. She tries super hard, and she's a nice Jamie. lady. You know, she failed out of school, but who didn't? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's learning to knit and just filled up her car with gas. You know. Jamie's really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's nervous as shit. <laughs> Doesn't want to be here. <laughs> Get your money, everybody. Yeah, it's one fifteen p.m. on a Thursday. <laughs> it's two in the afternoon. She has a full fucking outfit on. <laughs> Refuse to take off her jeans. <laughs> Give it up for Jenny. That's the strippers I'm talking about. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Where are these real like? strippers at? Yeah. yeah. Where you, they ain't stripping. They're yeah. nervous. Yeah. They're a little stiff up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ruthie's fantasy team struggled this past weekend. <laughs> She's really having a tough time. She had egos for breakfast. Carrie is on break <laughs> from fucking Home Depot, but she's here to make a couple extra bucks. <laughs> Dude, I like those. Hosts. I like that, man. Too, Emotional man. strippers. You They're know? really working it. Real strippers. Yeah, I go at night, but I feel you. So what's this guy just basically? This guy's just telling us that he's been doing good sex with a lady, basically. Let's go to Kat. Let's get some female or, 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 or to Derek, some yeah, male right, female. Doug. I mean, the stripper may look at him like he's her future 401k like a retirement plan a young guy doing well if he's do we know he's doing well or has potential to do well he's younger maybe he's in a more stable lifestyle than she is she just wants someone to come home to dude you ever you ever met some of those strippers some of those strippers are smart man where they get all that cast they got properties and shit but not all of them are unfortunately and then they got their real estate license and shit on the side like, God damn, I was thinking about buying this house. You got that blowout ass, girl. She's like, yeah, you can catch me at Diamond Cabaret tonight. You can buy it, though. I'll take the crib and look, see you at Diamond Cabaret, girl. Shit. It's tough out there. People are doing their best. And I know it's really tough for a lot of these ladies out there. And, uh, you know, if we if we can do anything to help, I guess just reach out to us, you know? God, I feel, I feel like we rate my stripper, dude. They send him pictures of nope. themselves. So- I'm not doing All that. right, you're right. You're right. That'd be disgusting. <laughs> Well, I'm just that I'm would better be terrible. Than you know, I don't need to do it, but I would love or it to. Or can help them, or it blows them the fuck up. The more dudes go and they make crazy money, and then they retire early. And we're helping one strip at a time. Stripathon. <laughs> nope, that's Not- spring break, dude. That's Andy Dick shit, bro. That's the kind of shit Andy Dick does. You know. No, I say in Cancun, <laughs> yeah, dudes. I know, I know. Look, just, guy, I'm just spitballing ideas here. Trying to help this kid out. What does he need from us, this guy? What was he asking us? For some relationship advice. Like about what? Like specific, though. Oh, uh, he's dating an ex stripper. <laughs> She's clingy and bipolar. He doesn't know what to do. Should he stay with her? Should he not stay with her? I don't think it's going to be up to you, brother. To be honest with you, <laughs> I, I think she's driving this ship, yeah. amigo. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm the captain now. Look at I my think, teeth. Yeah, yeah, dude. And that was not an impersonation of you, Chen. He thought it was him. 
I did too. Know, I thought lose six hairs for thinking about yourself. <laughs> yep. Snip, snip, snip. What I'm saying is this, uh, you're going to be fine, dude. Okay. You're naked right now in this video. You don't have a fucking shirt on. You're in bed. You're fucking beaming. You've obviously just you either masturbated or recently come. Clearly sleep on a futon. You're going to be great. And this lady's going to make the choice. If she's bipolar, tripolar, you know. Uh, that's how they do it now. You know, strippers, next thing you know, she fucking saws your arms off and they find you two years from now in a fucking body bag outside of Gainesville. So I like when they're bipolar. They give you a nice lap dance and maybe come up with a business plan after. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? True, I like it, dude. Oh, yeah. I've invested in a few ideas, yeah. okay? So I think, yeah. I'm still waiting for those flying cars, Becky. All right, bitch? I think play it out, baby boy. And, yeah, let's uh, see how it goes, bro. Yeah, and we hope we helped you out, and thank you for reaching out to us, man. We appreciate the support. and I would like a picture next time. And thanks for checking out King and the Sting, too, brother. Yeah. All right, boys, let's wrap it up with some King and her Sting. It. I uh, forgot about that, huh? I know, huh? Up first, this is Kat D'Elia. Well. Kat D'Elia. Hey, boys. So, I a king it or sting it for you. My name's Kat, by the way, so shout out to you, girl. Um, I just Ooh. went to Ibiza with my girlfriend. Friend that's a girl. Took a pill in Ibiza. Um, and I met a boy at a club. He was super Irish and kind of McGregory. So, um, <laughs> I obviously had to progress the situation. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. And I couldn't understand him, so it was perfect. Um, so we go back to the hotel room. Hell yeah. We're taking it slow because I'm also bad at sex, Theo. So I did it. Shout out, boy. Quickly. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? And clothes are getting taken. MBG, up. baby, no bus gang, Heated. son. Everything's going great. I don't great. want part of that, too. And he goes, and I can't do the accent, but I want to pee in your mouth. Oh, well. Wow. You got a freak on your hands. I'm like, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? I want to whiz in your mouth. Whiz in your mouth? He's a Harry Potter fan. No. So, king it or sting it, urinating in a female's mouth. So, question for R. Kelly. Oh, dude. <laughs> Not for Theo and Brendan. Not my bag, baby. Yeah. Um... You, you had a real freak on your hand. Just off the bat, yeah. dude was doing it. That's that Boston bird bath right there, dog. <laughs> you know? That's and, that Jameson uh, hitter, bro. Yeah, that shit. That's, that's that Guinness in your mouth, girl. Oh, yeah, That new bro. gold ale Guinness in your yeah. mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, bro, yeah. Man. That's that Irish body wash, dog. You feel me, dog? That's that new Gatorade, yeah. baby. <laughs> I don't know, man. Wow. I I don't even know where to go. I think with this. if you could test the urine and see, you know, if there was a someone had a litmus paper or something, you could test the urine real quick. If you chilled it, it might be nice. I don't know. I, I don't know where to go. With this. Oh my god, bro! Are you a Russian escort? You're drinking chilled piss out of somebody? <laughs> yeah, bro. They're international waters. Yeah, they took sure some are. piss in a bee. He's a, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's that Mike Posner song for you kids out there. There, it, what? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know, but I, I I'm, you have an olive in there with it. You're drinking chilled urine, bro. Is what you're admitting to right Sometimes now. Sometimes they put one of those tequila worms in it, man. <laughs> oh, dude, that ain't... That, that's that, in Mexico, am I right? Hey, bro, um, that's a tapeworm, dude. If you're drinking chilled... Might piss. be a leech, bro. Yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> hey, here's what I want to know. Did she do it? Oh, yeah. We, I don't know. She didn't say. Hmm. hmm. Uh, I'm a, it, uh, Golden Shower is probably a pass for me. Again, if it's chilled, might be a different story. Never had it. Never been offered it. Look, it's urine until you're in an avalanche, and then it's dang dick wine, you know? It's uh, that's full, that's body wine at that point. Yeah, if you're in an got... avalanche with somebody, dude, every every ounce counts, Every bro. drip. Every oh. drip counts. You'd be serving. You you could fucking serve a family of four if you just had a fucking you know two bottles of uh, Niagara or whatever that thing is. Well, that sounded racist, but uh, I also it, you know wow it's a bottle of water. You Niagara. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Niagara. that drip, dude, of uh, water. Um, here's the thing, man. I know, like right now, between I drink so much coffee. When I got to pee, I got to pee, dude. Some girl asked me to piss. You getting Splash Mountain, girl. My shit is a super soaker. I'm knocking out teeth. There's black eyes. Next thing you know, I get arrested for being on girls. That's not doesn't go over well in prison. It's a terrible idea, man. Yeah. 
You feel me? Look, yeah, you I'm, look like you got that weak stream, bro. Whoa, whoa. yeah, you're getting you uh, get that sprinkler. You're getting Splash Mountain. That's what you say. I also heard that. For, this is what I've heard. You're also getting. It's a small world after all, brother. Okay, <laughs> that's one thing I've heard. All I'm saying is over here, you getting Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. That's not sexy at all. <laughs> Come over here, you're getting that Magic Mountain, baby. Let's fucking. <laughs> I, <laughs> you been I, smoking again? Uh, no. You've been smoking. No, I haven't. You got the black lung, Pop. No, I haven't. <laughs> so. So uh, good luck with your parade. Look, here's the thing. If you're on drugs or whatever, I think if you have a little, that's fine. It ain't going to kill you. I don't think have a lot, though. I mean, if you have a half, you know, quarter cup or something or, you know, half a cup or whatever you guys are partying. That's what I'm saying. Chill shots of piss. Chill no. it out. No, no, no. I don't think I should be doing recipes and stuff where you're, you know, measuring it out. Yeah, and too doing, much you know. Has to be in the moment. Yeah, that's yeah. a momentary action, you know. Let's go to the culture corner. See, what do you guys do in your country? You guys like Splash countries? Mountain? <laughs> I like Splash Mountain. Wait, do I, would, I pee in a, would I pee in a girl's mouth? Man, no. I has your girl ever like, asked you? No. Dude, don't put his girl. His girl is a human being that has to live the rest of her life. I don't think we. <laughs> what if, if Derek's like, has. actually, she loves it. That's her thing. That's like, okay. And what if they break up in a year and then she has to get a job two years from now? And like, oh, hey. You oh, know? his boss is like, I remain from Kingston. <laughs> you're the piss girl. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what could happen. That's you're right. Happened. When you're right, you're right. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> thanks for looking out for me and her. <laughs> Sorry, man. But, I mean, it's up to you guys. You could pee on someone in the shower. Have you ever done that? I've done that. Oh, I've done dude, that. Yeah. In the shower? Yeah. You never done that either, dude? I don't pee in the shower. You oh, start, dude, you're t almost 29. It's time to start living. You don't pee in the shower? It's I don't it's not right. But it, all the fun thing about peeing on somebody in the shower is they don't know you're peeing on them. Yeah. They're just like, <laughs> man, the water got warm all of a sudden. <laughs> nah, it's it's pee-pee, baby. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, yeah, they don't know. They have shampoo That's in. That's so funny. They're like, their eyes are closed. <laughs> yeah, you pee on, on their, their back, back a little. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend's like, like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? So those are college days, dude. What? You didn't count as college, that dude. Is it a white thing to pee in the tub? Because I don't do that shit either. Nobody pees in the tub? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my Luis man does. does. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's, it's so refreshing. I've done that. I love peeing outside too, man. Oh. oh. I love peeing straight up in the air and not even wondering where it lands at. <laughs> you know, in the I'm holidays, cool that too, the holidays and stuff. Uh, no on the whole pee thing in the mouth though, Kat? Oh, Jesus, hell. guys, I don't want to hear this kind of no. stuff, man. Cats, no, so no one's into it. All right. I don't want to hear this kind of stuff. Well, I she, think if she a was woman into is it. into it, if they discuss it with you or something, or that, you know, I think, I think it's a spur of the moment type of thing. I don't think you got, you know, people need to be planning ahead and, you know, drinking a bunch of water the day before and all that kind of stuff. That's <laughs> yeah, crazy. No asparagus. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You can't have that. I think uh, it's good a luck, spur girl. of the moment. I, would like, I, I would like a follow up, though. Did the, you do it? The, the, and how'd it go? The Irish will drink anything, too. Did she say the guy's Irish? Yeah, she said he was Irish. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's it's almost thing. Scottish, Jameson. bro. Come on, bro. It's almost Scottish, man. What else we got? Up next, we got Scott from Clinton, Connecticut. Can we get out of this show? <laughs> you got one more. Oh, this one is the same guy from before. What's up, Brendan? What's up, Theo? I'm in the St. Lawrence Seaway in the upper Canada, upper Quebec. What's his question? No eyebrows? i it for you. Whale watching. Ooh. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, blow hole. Wow, gang, gang, buzz, buzz, blow hole, dude. Blow holes, dude. Uh, Thank you for reaching out from Quebec, qua, brother. Hell yeah, you know what dog. I'm saying? Dude, there's nothing worse. My family went whale watching. We didn't see one fucking whale. Dude. Saw your stepmom, I bet. Three hours. <laughs> saw, <laughs> saw my Sorry. grandma fucking joking, jump off the side of the boat, dude. <laughs> I'm just joking, dude. <laughs> uh, what, what, and the guy's saying whale watching, good or bad? King or singer. Good for senior citizens, I think. Good for senior citizens, something easy for them to do. Oh, the whale, you watch it, basic, calm, nothing to do, sit there, you don't have to talk that much. Not that exciting. Yeah. I've seen it too much too much on the internet, on TV. Whales or whatever. Listen, if it can't kill me. Whales are not whatever. That, no, if it can't kill me, I don't give a fuck. Now, if it's a great white popping up little seals and shit, and it's like, do great not white go is in a the shark. water. Whales are God's sea bass, brother. Okay, what I'm saying? Well, Whales are God's short bass. So are sea bass, though, you know? You're, you're 
an you're insane. Idiot. You're insane, dude. You're insane, dude. <laughs> you're an idiot, dude. You're an idiot. Dude, think about if you're an idiot or not. <laughs> yup. <Yeah. laughs> <Okay. laughs> yup, yeah, bro. I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't have said that, man. No, I'm you're just having right, kind man. of a tough day. I'm just a little bit tough. I'm not tired even. I just hey, when's it that not a tough huge, day dude. for you, though? You know? Yeah. When's it not? Any day that ends in a Y is a struggle. You Hopefully feel one of these decades, you know? I'm yeah. hoping to get a decade off one of these days. Yeah, I hope you do too, man. Maybe you should go whale watch and shut the fuck up. Yeah. Actually, it would probably be a good idea for me. <laughs> it might be relaxing, dude. Oh, just watch them. And that's it. Did you see them? You're like, mm-hmm. It's probably fun to harpoon them. Now, that's an Asian thing. Is it? Japanese, Japanese part of Asia. Mm-hmm. But Japanese do kill whales. They kill the fuck out of them. Well, they're fish attackers, bro. All of them. Don't they think their fins are like uh, aphrodisiac? Yeah. (sighs) They got extra dick in the fin. But I'll say this. I appreciate this guy sending this in. This is also the guy who sent in the first video. No one else noticed that. And once again, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there's two white dudes and you're racist. Really? It's white sism? Yes. (laughs) Uh, now, in the video, is there a whale? No, I looked. There was a whale in the video. It looked like you just... You guys are all fucking... What's up, Brendan? What's up, tarts. Theo? I'm in the St. Lawrence Seaway in uh, Upper Canada. St. Lawrence. Upper Quebec. He's going. And I got a king and a stinger for you. Whale watching. Oh, there oh. is one. Gang, I didn't gang. See that. Wait, you, yeah. you yeah. called it or Derek Roll called point. it? I called I it, bro. I didn't see it at all. Derek is the... I, you I haven't been to his detective here. agency, dude? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they got shut down. They're, it's just two guys playing basketball against each other, okay? <laughs> no, it got shut down because they couldn't figure out how to unlock the door. <laughs> dude, good call on the whale. Yeah, I didn't catch that first well, either. How do you not catch it? I was staring at his eyebrows. He's on a boat in the St. Lawrence Channel. Yeah, shout out to whales. Uh, I whale watch. Definitely slow and boring, but I'll king it. I think you have to, some things you go do when you're older, some things you go do when you're younger. If you have access to whales right there, bro, go look at them. Go it's, swim with them. Though. Yeah, it's like I like to go see the crab, you know, go see the um, the uh, crabs sometimes in Louisiana because they're right there. But if you, otherwise, do old stuff later. You know, you can make a puzzle later. I ain't making a puzzle now that much. Yeah, I'll you. make a small puzzle, but I ain't making a fucking 60,000 piece puzzle, you know? Yeah, fuck your crossword till you're over 60. Well, I mean, you could do a crossword if you want to stay busy, but don't be doing it all day. Don't do a 6,000 word. And eat graham crackers. Yeah. King at whale watching. It's an age thing. Nice. Last one, boys. This is Aaron. God, it's the longest show of all time. <laughs> Aaron got a set of lips on her. Hi, Theo. Hi, Brendan. She said me first. I'm sting it for you. She's not on Zanny at all. Legs. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> dang, dang, buzz, buzz. <laughs> She's awesome. She's my favorite person. I quit. Oh, come on, Big Brown. That wasn't kind of hot? Big Brown, get back in there, dude. Hair- no. Well, no, dude. Let's see that hair leg again. Is it it's real disgusting. hair on there or is it edited in? That was real. Could be edited in. Hi, Brendan. Got a king and a sting up for you. Girls with hairy legs. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Was that, is that considered a lot of hair? Let's go to the culture corner. Oh, More hair than man. my leg. I ask, I'm asking them, Brendan. Let's I feel definitely more hair than my leg, too, but I'm with it, girl. I'm with it. You like that? Nasty. I don't know. I don't even like It's just the fact that she did it so fucking hot. You would let your girl grow hair out? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not, yeah, she can do what she wants. Really? Yes, yeah, she, she can. She doesn't, but I mean, she doesn't. She's all shaved up. But if she did, if she had this kind of confidence with it, I'd be with it. Mm-hmm. That was sexy. What up, Aaron? I am so irate right now. Kat, you're not hairy at all, just in general, right? No, Asians really don't grow hair like that. Mm-hmm. But Love it. I get where she's coming from because it takes forever to shave your legs. So mm-hmm. I don't blame her, but I don't like hairy legs personally. But, Bernie, you have to imagine you're making love to a woman and you get to hold onto her legs and they have hair on them, you know? <laughs> but also imagine it's real cold outside. Mm-mm. Okay. Nope. That's just it. not. It's such a hard no for me. Yeah, it's a no for me too. I think if you. I, look, Makes I, you feel sick. Physically ill. Let's see one more time. Make sure that it's hair on there. <laughs> Hi, Theo. Hi, Brendan. She's not a hairy person. Like Look at her stomach. Look at her armpits. Do not judge her, Brendan. Now, I'll say... <sighs> Wait, hold on. Play this again. Is that her leg, dude? Are we getting duped? Hi, Theo. Hi, Brendan. Oh, Got dude, you should be a detective. Girls with hairy legs. No, that's her leg. No, 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 no. Hold up. Hold up. 
Play it again. Theo's on to something. Hold on. Play it again. Because wow. she's not a hairy person. Look at her other leg. Pause it when, it, when you see both legs. Girls with hairy legs. Pause. Go a little more. Does she go any more? Do we see any more of that other leg? Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Man, I don't think that's her leg. I think Theo's right. Because look, her other leg doesn't even move. Well, no, the, this thigh's not hairy either. It's not just the calves is where it comes in. That looks like a man's leg to me. That might be a man. Dude, this is the dress blue or is the dress a zebra? You know, what's that thing that always happens? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We this might have to was... put this one out to see what people... Uh, you might have to put this on social media, can't say, is this her leg? Because there's a couple of things going on here. First of all, she seemed like a beautiful young lady and yeah. everything like that. Super pretty. Um, second of all, she... She takes care of like her teeth and everything so much, you know. She she looks like taken care of. She have on I think some spray tanner or hand tanner where you rub tanner into your body. Yeah, look at her tummy. Yeah, and then also look at her Armpits. hand. When her hand comes in, it looks like it has some of that brown like tanner rub on it. You know that uh, it's almost like the, that jerk chicken stuff you put on, but you put it on your body. You know that Cajun rub seasoning. Yeah, but women put it on them to look kind of like brown at night or brown during the day, and then they it gets all over your sheets sometimes. Yeah, chocolate body. Yeah, chocolate body. So I'm I not don't know it. if this leg looks like a woman's leg because it's not as tan as the rest of her body either. Well, her hand's fucking white, isn't it? Can you go out? Is there is there any more to pull down or scroll up or down on this video itself? No, is this? We got that hairy leg gate right now. I'd like the the fans. Maybe maybe she could stand in another is video. Is there any hair on the armpit? Hair in that armpit, man. Ooh, a little stubble though. Is that stubble though, or is that actual hair? That's that... full whiskers, man. No. That Zoom in. Like... We probably can't, huh? God. Damn. Somebody can. We're. Oh, no, no, no. Her armpit's hairy. That's hairy. I'm out. I'm out, man. You know how you get disgusted about butt sex and cum and shit? This makes me disgusted. Brendan, and I don't want to be part of it. What do you have to say all of that? I, <laughs> I was I having a good day. I was having a good day as well. No, you weren't. Now, some girls have a condition. Like one of Charles Manson's family members who committed some of those murders had a condition. Her legs were hairy as shit. Yeah. Who cares, dude? They murdered a bunch of people. <laughs> Saying she had hairy legs. It's the only other person I've known to yeah, have hairy legs. Yeah, that doesn't legs. mean that they should be allowed to murder. You're right, dude. When you're right, you're right. I don't trust any girl with hairy legs. I don't Try trust right now. you, dude, you after that. You I have hair on my arms. What does that mean? I can fucking choke out the new white camera guy? <laughs> huh? Or Luis with the fake name over there? Yeah, I'm not buying you that at all. Apache. With that fake party? <clears throat> yeah, dude, yeah. Look forward to it. Bring your own girls and bears. Yeah, come Sounds to the party, like a riot, man. Bro. Yeah, come to the party, dude. I'm throwing a party at your house. Yeah. Bring your own shit. Bring your own girls. <laughs> Uh, you just want to bait us there and then fucking scalp the white man. I know what's going on here, I know what's here, going brother. on, dude. Yeah, dude. Kill me with a fucking arrow. Um, <laughs> dude, what does she want? Relationship advice? <laughs> Kicking her thing at uh, girls with hairy legs. <laughs> oh. I'm out, dude. You can Sting! stay. Sting! <laughs> Sting! Wow. <laughs> on a very special King and her Sting. It. <laughs> I'm Brendan out, can't dude. handle it. No, hairy, hairy girls are can't. Makes me sick. I'm going to go to hell, probably. I've made a lot of poor choices in my life. You're already man. half there, brother. I knew my legs felt warm. Uh, you got any dates coming up, man? That that ruined my day. What do you got? I don't feel like doing comedy anymore. I'm going to be December 26th. I'm going to be in Lafayette, Louisiana, the day after Christmas. Um, going home for the holidays and doing a show out there? Doing a show out there. We're going to do a fundraiser, too. Uh, um uh, some of the proceeds are going to Good Fight Foundation, Dustin Char Char uh, Poirier's charity. You got that? So we're we doing out there. Yeah. I mean, some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Two percent's going no, to his no. charity, and then the rest. Obviously, I'm gonna take home. But uh, <laughs> wow, some. No, what dude. the? What? The, uh, I'm gonna give some of the money. <laughs> <laughs> With proceeds going... Some, though. Bro, we don't know the cost of the fucking to put that thing on yet. Well, some of them, though. Well, you know what I'm saying? I, now you gotta get yours, bro. No, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're doing a... Uh, we are doing... I'm um, doing a show at the... 
in Lafayette, Louisiana, December 26th, um, and tickets on sale, theovon.com slash tour. And then December 10th at the Wiltern here in Los Angeles, downtown. That's going to be fun, man. If I'm in town, I'm going to go for sure. Are you? Yeah, hell yeah. Dude, you might have to jump up there, dog. Yeah, dog. That'd be fun. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah, that'd be cool, man. Um, I'm at the Ice House Thursday night. This comes Ooh. out Thursday. Job and friends. And then... Uninvited. So I I'll be at home. I didn't think you'd do it. I'll be at home. Do it. <laughs> well, then do it. I'll be at home do watching it. these videos That's again what I and just wondering That's if the woman has hair on her legs. I already knew you'd say no. That's what I thought. Uh, Thursday night, Ice House. But November, I'm in Dallas in Salt Lake City. Get your tickets. And King of the Sting Tour may be coming to you live. I can't ask Brendan about it anymore to sit and put oh, the tour dates together. Oh, God. Again. We're figuring it out. Well, part of the proceeds will go to Theo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Oh, oh. It's the king of the sting.